Alright, it's Henry again, and this is part two of my work in progress series on the 1 to 100 scale Pisces. And as you can see, I've gotten quite a bit further than I had last week. Last week, basically, all I had was the crotch piece and the thighs. So, this time around, I've got quite a bit of work done on the legs and the feet, and I've gotten the torso is about in the same place it was last week, but at least I've gotten it attached to the legs now. So, uh, the thighs are pretty much the same uh, as they were. Uh, that little hobby baseball joint in there, haven't really done much to them other than beveling the edges on the top and bottom. That Not only uh, accurate to the line art, it also increases the mobility slightly by uh, sanding those edges down. Anyway, the knee joints, I actually, the knee joints were the last thing I did. I, in fact, just finished those a little while ago. Uh, there, I thought of like five or six different ways I could do the knee joints. And I tried a couple of them and they didn't work out so well. The ones I ended up uh, settling on are basically the exact same thing, or almost the exact same thing as the knee and elbow joints I used on my Leo and Leo Space Type. Only I used a single joint instead of a double joint. And obviously they're much, much bigger. These are, good gracious, let's see, almost two whole centimeters across. So very, very large knee joints because he's got really big, chunky legs. Uh, it works the same way. It's plastic on plastic. And it's just going to bend. It bends only about that far. But like I said in the first work in progress video, I don't think Pisces even really has a need to bend his knees any further than that. Uh, that's why I went with a single joint in the first place instead of even attempting to do a double joint. Because he just really doesn't even need to bend his knees very far. Because, as you can see in the line art here, his knees are going to be in that kind of crouched position most of the time anyway. So anyway, I actually think they look halfway decent. I'm probably going to add a little bit of armor right here and sort of cover up that, not a lot, just a really small little piece of armor to kind of cover that uh, knee joint up a little bit. And then I've got some more armor to add on the uh, thigh there. i got to cut a hole there. And the lower legs, the basic shape is there, but uh, really all i got to do to, to the lower legs now is just uh, take to them with my Dremel and sand them down because they're supposed to be rounded. Right now they're all squared off. So all these sharp edges are going to have to be sanded down and rounded. And then obviously I've got some putty work to do to fill in some of these places where I've been plot plating here. The feet are something that I hadn't even started on last week. In fact, pull this out. I've got a hobby base ball joint there just like the ones I use for the uh, hips, only it's a smaller one for the ankle. And here is the actual foot. I've got this little box. The ball joint plugs down in that hole in there. And then it, Pisces just has two toes. And I got them both on polycap so they can move up and down. And they can rotate as well. So that actually helps with him standing flat on his feet. And they're not done yet, but this is the basic general shape. Uh, there's really not much to do to them after this other than just cleaning them up and maybe scrubbing a few panel lines on there. Also going to do some detail on the bottom of the feet as well. Uh, let's see. So everything's coming along really nicely. The torso, like I said, haven't gotten uh, as much done on it this week because uh, most of the time I was focusing on these legs. But luckily the basic structure of the legs is done so now I can really get a start on the torso and the arms. It's got this little skinny waist here because Pisces actually does have a pretty skinny waist as you can see there. Kind of like Aries' waist almost. So I'll be putting some plot plate around in there. And then it's kind of a just a big box right now but I'm going to be adding plot plate and just kind of building on top of this and keep adding and adding and then sanding it all down nice and smooth until I get it into the final shape already drew out in pencil right here the position that the chest vents are going to be at. I'll have the camera eye right there and he's got a fin on the back. And then uh, I've got these ball joints here. Those are going to attach to the sides for the shoulder joints. And honestly I think the arms are going to be the most challenging part of this kit because the arms are kind of complex. 
But uh, yeah, that is where I'm at now. I'm actually pretty pleased with the progress I made this week. I'm really liking the way these legs look. One more thing I do want to mention is how incredibly stable this guy is. Uh, he's rock solid, absolutely rock solid. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to do it this time, but a little while ago I had him balancing on one foot. I don't know if he's going to... No, he's not wanting to do it this time, but I had him balanced on... Oh, there we go. Balanced on one foot, but just really, really solid much much more so than any of the other kits, uh, kits I've done. The knee joints are nice and tight, not loose at all, not too tight, they're just perfect, perfect. Uh, most Bandai model kits aren't even this solid. So uh, it just makes me really happy because most of my scratch build kits that I've done are not very solid at all. Uh, you don't really see that much on camera because I try to edit out the bloopers, but like Mercurius and V8, they would fall apart constantly and Virgo 2 would be constantly falling over because he was so back heavy and Cancer's claws were kind of fiddly. But uh, Pisces, I think, so far is, is turning out to be really, really nice and solid. I mean, shake test, nothing is moving on this guy at all, so I think he's going to be very, very sturdy. So that about does it for this work in progress video, and I think by this time next week I should have uh, quite a bit more work done on the torso and hopefully have uh, a good start on the arms. So with that, I'll see you guys next time.